So I finally, finally got a job as a software developer and that to me means one thing. So I want to bring you on this journey and basically show you guys what it's like to be an intern software developer over the course of the next three months, going from this fledgling graduate kind of thing to a hopefully semi-proficient uh, software developer by the end of the three months. So the company I'm working for is called HealthLink. They are the way in which I can kind of describe HealthLink is that they are a facilitator of medical messaging. Basically what that means is HealthLink provide a way in which different health organizations and health practitioners and people can interact basically in a standardized way. So say for example, you go to your GP, he says, your leg is stuffed and you need to go to the knee person, ologist. Yeah, the knee personologist says, hey, your, your knee is really stuffed. You need to go to the hospital and you need to get a surgeon. The GP sends a message to the knee person. The knee person sends a message to the hospital. And in the middle of that all is HealthLink. That, that's how those messages are all getting across in a safe and secure fashion. So that's basically what HealthLink does. Uh, they provide a way in which health professionals can communicate, essentially. That, that's what they're doing. And it's a really, really important thing. That is what HealthLink does. Now you have the context in which this whole three months is going to be about. Fuck that one up. So what did I actually do this week in my first week as a software intern? Well, I can tell you, not a hell of a lot. Basically, your first week is going to be mapped out in meetings. It's going to be understanding the company. It's going to be understanding the products that they have and it you we basically didn't do a hell of a lot of coding at all uh, on the first day we set up our development environments we downloaded all the tools and stuff like that we went through all the hr stuff um so getting the payroll sorted basically the, the standard stuff that you'll get into whenever you go into a, a company the second third and fourth days were basically dedicated to meetings there is so so many meetings, especially if you go into a big company. Small company, again, very different. This is quite a large company. It's got about 100 employees, I think. You learn, again, about the products. You learn about the software development process. You learn about their architecture. You learn about their uh, ITS services. You learn basically a really broad spectrum of things. As well as that, at the same time, you're getting all your login info and bloody, 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 blah. Basically, that, that's what I did this week. What did I learn? I learned actually a surprising amount considering we didn't spend a lot of time actually coding. One of the, the big things that stands out for me, especially in, in the first week coming into this company, is how important a development methodology is in terms of how we actually build softwares. I've heard about Agile, I'm sure many of you have probably heard about Agile as well and that whole mythology, but it's something that I'd never actually practiced and that is a big component to how you actually develop software. So if you, those of you who don't know what Agile is, Agile is basically a way that Agile is basically a thing that Agile is basically essential fuck Agile is a way in which you develop software it's a set of processes regulations guidelines as to how you should actually interact with a team but also interact with a client as to how to actually build the software so it's something I'll talk about in a later video I'm going to do a whole video on Agile versus Waterfall and why I think Agile is a really great methodology for uh, development but the, again video for a separate time that's one of the things I learned this week it's something that I'm really thrilled uh, to keep on learning in the future I'm also kind of dealing with the fact that big business versus small business uh, big business it takes it a little bit longer to get things done but you do have more of a support network there as well it, it's quite nice having all these resources at your disposal oh there's so much jargon this is something that you are all going to have to get used to when you go into a bigger company and that is the amount of acronyms the amount of jargon it's the PMS, AMS, DMZ, bleh, there's a lot of it. You're going to have to learn all of the jargon and it's going to take you some time to get used to the kind of slang uh, within each separate company. So if you're someone who likes to hop from company to company, good luck to you. You're going to be living in Acronym City. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. So now on to part three. Dub TF. This is, this is the part where I talk about things that I found quite challenging this week. And th there are already a, a couple of those. Considering this first week 
has primarily about being induction and getting used to the company and learning all the processes and that kind of thing. It's primarily been people-based and people are a huge component of, of your job. Even though this is gonna be a three-month internship, there's still a hell of a lot you can learn about people and processes. So the number one being that you're gonna to have to get used to working in a team. And if it's not something you've done before, you may find it quite difficult and get developing those people skills is something that's really, really important. One of the things that I found challenging, or at least I think I'm gonna find challenging, is being told what, what to do. I've always been in a position in a job environment where I have been the manager, essentially. I, I manage my own time. Um, I get to decide what I'm doing and when, and that's very different in software development. You're basically, if you're an agile, um, you have something called a product owner who dictates what kind of tasks you'll be doing. And it's a lot more regimented and, and your time is a, a, a lot more structured, which is which is a nice thing, but it also means that you do have to stick to a schedule. So work, working in a team environment as well, it's not something that you can go and pick, hey, I interviewed you and, and I like you, and hey, I interviewed you and you would be good in my team, come over here. That's not, that's not how it works. You get put into a team, so in this case, we've been put into a team of five developers and one kind of BA. I need to learn how to work as a team and, and to do so like well. You actually have to get to know each of the team members quite well in, in order to actually work with them. So that's something that I've been, I, I'm not saying struggling with, but it's something that I'm gonna have to learn how to deal with in working in this kind of really tight knit team. Not only so I can work with them without getting frustrated, but to also bring out the best possible work from me and from them. One also, this is this is also, I'm not, this may be completely different depending on uh, who you are, but uh, hardware, you're not gonna get to choose what hardware you get to run when you go into a internship. So I'm a snob when it comes to hardware and that kind of thing. I've got a 34 inch ultra wide panel. I've got, you know, a nice mouse and mechanical keyboard and stuff like that. You get into work and it's the, the, the Microsoft Office basic keyboard, it's the standard $5 Microsoft mouse, a display that's not even 1920 by 1080p. However, I now have two displays that are not 1920 by 1080p. So the improvement, I guess, a little bit. Get over the fact, if, if you're used to working in this quite nice environment, especially if you're using things like MacBook Pros, if you're coming out of uni or that kind of thing, you are going to have to deal with the hardware that you get given, especially as an intern where you don't have much say. A workman blames his tools, basically. So I'm gonna to have to get over that. That's something I'll deal with. So I think that basically wraps it up for the first week as a intern software developer. I really like what I see from HealthLink so far. I'm really looking forward to getting more involved in the whole development process and really sinking our teeth into the project that we have because we only just got given our project and it's gonna be a morale app where it's essentially tracking the moods of the people within the company, not like Skynet, it's, it's actually something that people can sign into. They can say, hey, I'm really happy today. That was fantastic. They can see their team members' moods. Uh, they can track trends and analytics and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be a fun little project for us to work on. That, I think, wraps up this video. That's everything that I've done this week. That's everything I've had problems with. That's everything that I learned as well. So I'm gonna be doing this every week. It's gonna follow that same format without the context bit at the uh, beginning. And it's gonna be, hopefully, a more of a condensed video as well. I'm hoping to get this into five, six, maybe 10 minutes. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Hello. Hello. Da 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 da